Hi Libra, thank you for clicking on this video. This is going to be a love reading for October 2018 for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This reading uh, is about love. Uh, if I pick up anything else, I will, of course, say what I see. Um, I just want to start off to let some of you know that I'm using the Thoth deck here by Alistair Crowley. And I also want to say that we are entering, or we are in, October 9th, I believe. Actually, I'm not exactly sure, but for October, we should be in Venus retrograde. Um, and this is a time of pulling, pulling back and reevaluating relationships. So with that, I wanted to pull a card for you guys um, to take a look at what it is in your partnerships, family, friends, someone significant other, or just with yourself, uh, what you should take a look at, what you should be looking at. Just a little guidance to help you along a little bit here. So what does Libra need to really take a look at in regard to partnerships? during this Venus retrograde. Okay. So the Eight of Rods. Your communication style may have teetered um, perhaps uh, in a negative way at times. Uh, take a look at um, your distance between you and another person. Reevaluate if you're in a long distance relationship, if you need to go see that person or if that person needs to go see you. Reevaluate your communication style. Um, or how you perceive communication that comes to you. This can be a card of receiving good news. So to be hopeful and positive during this time, maybe you've taken um, a negative view on a situation. If you've been waiting to hear something or hear some news, perhaps to try to stay positive during this retrograde time. And to definitely reevaluate your communications with other people, how you speak with other people, what you are or are not saying. Okay, so your overall love energy during this retrograde, or what you may be feeling, or um, what may be occurring. Healing family issues. Okay. So this is definitely a time for taking a look at your relationships with parents or a parent or other family members. Things that may have occurred in your past that you have needed to take a look at or you haven't. And now these issues could be coming up now because the the messages and the love style that you've picked up in your past, your family structure, actually plays out in your love life, your partnerships as an adult. So there may be some things that you need to go back and reevaluate and heal from your past, um, your family situation. So this would be a beautiful time to do that with the re Venus retrograde. Are you um, recreating a partnership that made an impression on you in your childhood? Are you, um, have you healed from wounds of parents' divorce or the death of a parent um, or abandonment 
from a parent? Or did you have a sibling who was abusive? Uh, or something that may have occurred in your family that was uh, never spoken? Or things that were never said? Uh, it may be time to look at those things again. Okay? So, I'm doing the Celtic cross here, but I want to take a look at the person more so that you're dealing with. And what I feel here, the past situation was the Prince of Discs, which in this deck is equivalent to the Page of Pentacles. So I I feel that there, there may have been someone who put you on a pedestal to some degree. Now, the past can be yesterday, a few weeks, months, years. Um, there may have been someone who was in your life that you messaged. They could still be present in your life, but where there were messages back and forth, this person perhaps, you know, I feel like they admire, had much admiration for you and they may have told you that through messages, text messages, phone calls, things like that. But this person is currently in the hanged man position where they're really not doing anything about this. Even with the chariot uh, in the challenge position, you know, it would be a benefit for them to m maybe make up their mind or come directly towards you, but they're really not... They're just kind of like, well, it is what it is. They, I don't feel like this person puts an over amount of effort. It's really difficult for them to, um, for some reason, see you in a light as they know what they want and they want to just go after that. Now, I want to clarify the hanged man and the chariot. This is a real challenge for them. They want to. <clears throat> Why are they sitting here not doing anything? Why are they just accepting or just, um, it's kind of like they're tied up. Maybe they're tied up. Maybe they're busy. Yeah, they've got the four of cups. So I feel like the, that you're dealing with someone who has much admiration for you, but they are not offering love. I feel they're a bit indifferent it might be very surface or shallow. <clears throat> I'm sorry. And they do get many offers, but they're just not accepting love right now. And they're not offering. They may have, um, they may be indifferent to love or they may feel uh, that they don't know which to choose. With the Four of Cups, I feel like they're blocking it. They're blocking love. And the Chariot here, I feel like if they if they move forward with you, then that they won't, they can't offer you some uh, love. And they know this. Okay. King of Wands here, so some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, this person, older, pretty popular. They have a dominant type of a personality. They go after what they want. They, um, they're all about growth. They're creative. Um, again, like I said, this could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel like they aren't, they're looking forward in their life. Um, they do have plans. They do have direction with the things that they want to do, but I don't feel like they, I, I just feel they're indifferent to love at this time. Now, what's grounding them here is the hermit card. Okay. So of course, there are some signs showing up here. Cancer, fire, Virgo. Um, it, 
and they have the hermit in you know what's the root what's driving them so I feel like their energy is that they are just kind of hiding out a little bit they're reserved they're quiet they're they they're not communicating not really in October they're not really saying anything Now what is causing them to, they're hush-hush, they're being secretive. Um, I don't think they're purposely hiding anything. I just feel like they're not communicating. They don't wish to communicate. They're weighing their options right now. So you could be dealing with someone that um, is trying to make a decision or a choice. They may have, you know, put something forward to you in the past but I feel like they've also done that with somebody else and now they've got these two pentacles where they need to figure out what they want or what they're doing or you know which direction they want to go who should they choose you know this is a card about choices stability their emotions are kind of um, they're on like this little roller coaster they're up and down um, bouncing all around I don't feel it's a much stability I, I do feel like they're trying to you know you could have someone who is trying to figure out a way to balance you and another person and that's probably why they are indifferent to moving forward in um, a true love connection because with the four of cups that cup being offered here is you know that looks like the ace of cups here so it's it's almost as if you know for you I don't feel like they wish to accept a true ace of cups new beginning in a type of a love relationship <clears throat> now what's on their mind here they have the seven of cups so there I feel this person is just you know they have commitment issues they have a lot of options they um, really don't know which to choose quite honestly um, I feel like they just kind of don't make a decision they juggle a little bit juggle someone here juggle someone there and you know it's important that you take a look at that if you're dealing with someone like that and continuously dealing with someone who is perhaps saying to you that you are this and that but yet not really backing it up in some way and uh, that could have something to do with if you're continuously engaging with this person it could be related to something in your past okay which is why this is a good time to take a look at you know what could be going on now I do see here in the near future so perhaps maybe like sometime closer to the end of October middle to end of October the ace of wands is here so to me that's not really a communication card but there will be something that will occur um, the ace of wands can be a very sexual card in that there's um, something new that could be happening with this person and this is not with this person and someone else this has to do with you and them okay um, I actually feel like this they do want to try to reach out to you um, perhaps for um, maybe a sexual connection or some type of passionate energy they do feel that for you however the four of pentacles here shows that they are still staying very blocked and this person whomever you're dealing with keeps their emotions inside they deflect things you know they mostly just enjoy the passionate connection but they keep themselves um, off um, off limits so anything that you give to them or that you offer to them I feel like they just deflect it back 
anything emotional, of course. I don't feel like they share either. Uh, there's a little bit of, sorry for the blur, little energy here of someone who's possessive. They have possessive energy as well. So they could be um, not necessarily messaging you, but just reaching out in some way or um, trying to have a restart with you, but in um, a more physical type of a way. Now, the position that this person is in, they have the Two of Wands. And of course, if you can see here, it's a card of dominion. So I feel like they want to conquer you. And uh, this is also about a decision in partnership. And it's wands energy again, so there's passionate energy here, but it's, I don't really feel like this person is open to <clears throat> like an emotional connection. I feel it's more of a physical connection. If that's something that you would like to have with them, I feel that that is there. Of course, you know, if you're, if you're interested in, um, you know, some people are okay with the friends with benefits or just a sexual connection. Um, <coughs> and if you're, if that's something that you wish to indulge in, then um, I see that being an option here for you. Um, for those of you who don't wish to indulge in that, not really, it's not going to be anything more than, than that. Now, your position here is the Two of Swords. So you need to really just pull yourself in and figure out and make a decision about what it is that you want to do with this. And this is in your advice too, that you truly need, the energy is calling for you to make, basically make a decision about where you want to be, if you want to be in, involved with this particular person, or if you do not. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune is here, so it's basically saying to me that this is, it's in your favor, okay? And you may need to um, have some type of communication with this person, whomever you're dealing with, about what you want to do. You may need to tell them, not to ask them, but to tell them. Make a decision if that's okay with you to um, just have a strictly passionate affair or if it's okay or if it's not okay with you, if you want more, okay? Because I feel like this person, they have the universe here, which is the world, and uh, this person just keeps moving. I don't see them staying put, quite honestly. You know, if, if something doesn't work out for them, um, they just keep going. This person um, has a, uh, many connections, many connections um, on the internet and um, or in the world. They may travel a lot. So, you know, with that card, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo can show up. And so those could be also some people that you are dealing with. Of course, it doesn't have to be, but I just get a sense that um, they can really just take it or leave it. It's not that they don't care. I don't feel that. I mean, I, I feel like you know, when they think of you or they talk to you, that they really do think that you are magnificent. Um, but I just don't feel like they are willing to commit to anything more than perhaps just fun. And I know that's kind of a downer to hear in your reading, um, for those of you who are hoping for more than that. 
but some of you may already be aware of this situation and some of you may have been hoping for more but I think it's time to get real with yourself and um, make a decision to make a move to either stay or go your outcome here is the ten of pentacles so there will be security and stability as a result of whichever decision that you decide if you decide that you don't want this connection any longer you will find a sense of safety within yourself or sec feel secure that you made the right decision um, or if you stay decide to stay there'll be a sense of security with that um, but it's really just up to you how you want to handle the situation trust your intuition here Libra go within what do your guides tell you ask for um, confirmation ask for a sign about what you need to do about this situation um, and this of course is just for October so as I was saying I do feel that the person that you're dealing with is there's definitely a physical attraction okay but this person stays in their power they are commanding and uh, they're a go-getter and they're always on the move and I don't think this is someone that you can really tame I don't I mean I don't feel like they want to be tamed they're very in th you know they they enjoy very much the sexual pleasure and uh, they they're always moving forward they're always you know um, charting new territory you know I do feel that they this person ha has thought about commitment with you or something deeper but I feel like this they're always chasing this unknown they're never true they have a restless heart so they're never truly satisfied they don't feel like they would find satisfaction in a committed relationship they're always chasing after um, trying to uncover things they're chasing mysteries um, they're very curious about other people they they want to have it all but they can never just choose they're not they're a bit immature in a sense you know a bit child childish with the page of Pentacles um, they're youthful but they are a bit childish they they put people on pedestals uh, whoever they are and um, find so much glory in them but uh, it's it's almost as if once that glory fades then they they want to try to um, find that glory elsewhere and I feel like this is just their nature you know if you've been with this person for a while I, I don't feel like they I'm not seeing anything of here like deception or cheating or anything like that if you've been in a committed relationship but I I just don't feel like they're ever truly satisfied and that's something within themselves they just have a very restless heart and so in the beginning of the reading you are asked to take a look at um, some family issues and to reevaluate for the um, October Venus retrograde and this is the time now for you to do this and I feel like some of you have been kind of mulling it over but not sure what to do seeking clarity and um, but I think you've known and to ask yourself uh, what is causing you to hang on or to hold on to someone who is just kind of like um, 
their eyes are always roaming. What is causing you to hold on to someone whose eyes are always roaming? And like I said, I, I did feel like they did want something, but uh, they're just too distracted a lot of the time. There's always to them another option or someone else that they would be intrigued with. Um, but those options also never last long. Um, those other people that they have an interest in are just kind of, it's like a fly-by-night kind of thing for them. This person roams um, with the chariot. its They have to, and it's a challenge for them to do that. Um, I almost feel like they are, they've accepted that this is how they are instead of actually taking a look at maybe people that they've hurt or um, instead of taking a look, maybe during this Venus retrograde, they will. Um, but I just feel like they always have to be on the move to some degree. Okay, Libra. So I feel like that was a bit of a message for you, although it's not positive, I feel like the positive aspect of this is that you can now during this time reevaluate re your situation. Um, and, and this is really for those of you who have been stuck in a situation. And also, tr if you if you're not involved with someone, but you have like a connection with someone non romantic, um, this is a time for reevaluation also with family members or friends doesn't have to be um, just romantic it could be someone whom you're dealing with friend or whomever that is just not very reliable and you may need to reevaluate that friendship or that relationship with a family member or co-worker whoever it could be again Venus retrograde is all about partnerships so I will leave your reading there for you for now and if you would like to get a personal reading from me you can just click the link below and I will see you guys a couple of weeks. Alright, take care.